What's going on everybody? It's Game of Boxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create David Haller from the Legion TV series using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you want to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here and choose a brand new character slot. You can see I've already made the symbiote scream and magic from the new mutants. And like I've already said, in this video, of course, going to be making David Hauler, aka Legion. Alright, so let's get started. So first off, let's get rid of that weapon. We're going to get rid of that mohawk and cape as well. Let's just quickly do that. And the hair... Get rid of that as well. You know, basically start off a blank canvas. All right, so with the head, the first first thing for the head, what I did was I went with Star Lords because I think you know in the show David Haller has a bit of a stubble. It's got brown eyebrows. I think it's quite fitting. So we'll go with Star Lords head. Then for the hair, we're gonna go with short tussled, and you just want to make that brown. For the body, now this is where I got really excited when I was trying to make this character. You know, I was looking through all the pieces and I was thinking there's just there's there's nothing in there that actually you know, reminds me of uh, of Legion, basically. So I was looking for ages, and then all of a sudden, I found Koi Boys, and I was like, wow, that is actually pretty accurate to the jumpsuit he wore in the first uh, series. So, well, in the first episode. So, yeah, we're definitely going to go with that, because I think that looks great. Now, for the arms, what you're probably going to do next is, usually you would go in here, and you choose the color that matches the torso, but unfortunately, that isn't in there. You see, there's this orange, there's this red, dark red, none of it matches it correctly. So, instead, what you're going to have to do is use Koi Boys as well, you know, just to match it. Only thing about this is you can see the aquatic texture on the arms. To be honest, that doesn't really bother me because you've got to think when you're running around Chronopolis or a mission or whatever, you're barely going to notice it. So really, that doesn't bother me at all. Now onto the hands, we're going to go with this skin color here to match the skin tone. And then for the hips and the legs, I just made them black. Feel free to go into a bit more detail than that if you want to, guys. But uh, I, just, I just think the black looks good. And there you go. Now, I am really pleasantly surprised by just how good that looks. Like, I was blown away when I made this. I was like, wow, that actually looks like David Haller, you know, from Legion. And I was thinking, can I add his powers as well? So I, you know, looked through and seeing what powers I could remember from the show. And then I also did a bit of research just to make sure I got everything right. And you can actually give him a lot of really cool powers that you see from the show. So there's a lot of really neat references in this video, which hopefully you guys will enjoy. So let's move on to the abilities next and, you know, showcase these references. So first off, I'm just going to turn all these off so we can, you know, start from scratch. So we're going to have mind control. We're going to have magic, and this will basically act as, you know, telekinesis. Then we're going to have time manipulation. Now, the reason I'm giving him time manipulation is because David was able to stop time in the show when he and Sid were shot at by Walter. So I think it's quite fitting to give him that ability. Last ability you want to give him is a teleport. So just to do a recap, you want mind control, magic, you want a time manipulation ability and a teleport. Now then, on tap square for the attack, I'm just going with fighting because I think that's, you know, pretty simple. But this is where it gets a lot more interesting. So on hold square, you want to go to explosion attack, explosion style one. You want to make sure the damage type is heat and you want to do the explosion color as black. This is, of course, a reference to when David took on Division 3 because you see in that episode, you know, there's like a smoke kind of attack he does and it basically destroys everyone around him so yeah I think that looks pretty cool then for tap circle what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with a force field now for the force field basically this is gonna be a reference to when you know David fought with Kerry as she was being controlled by the Shadow King so we're gonna toggle that and we're gonna make that blue because he had like a blue kind of force field when he was running towards her and she had like kind of an orange fiery kind of force field. But yeah, there you go. That looks really, really cool. Now then, on to hold circle, you're going to have another explosion attack. You're going to go with explosion style 4. And you want to make that again. You want to make it a heat explosion and you want to make the damage, uh, sorry, the damage color as orange so it's you know it's, it's a bit like fire and that is also a reference to when david took on division three you see that same power in that episode now for double tap x i'm not going to give him anything you know i know 
when he meditates, he levitates basically, but that's not exactly considered as flying. So I'm just going to give him, you know, nothing. Just so he does like a rolling jump basically. No double jump, no flight, and certainly no web swinging. Uh, and then for hold X again, you know, no hyper jump. All right, so we've done the appearance, the abilities. He's not going to have any weapons. Now we just need to choose some passive traits and then name him. So for the health, we're going to go with this one right here. We'll leave the health type as standard. Just, just to show you again, because I was quite quick there. Uh, that is, you know, the health type that you want there. For the voice, I just go with any male voice. For the movement speed, I just go with default. And then for the target reticle... I'm going to go with, well, to be honest, this doesn't really matter because if you think about it, you don't actually have an attack that we've added that, you know, requires a target reticle. So just choose whatever you want, but I'm just going to go with this one. And now we just need to name him. All right, I'm just going to call him Legion. Oh, it's already there from when I did it last time. Nice. There you go, Legion. Very cool. Background image. We'll go with this one right here. Awesome. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Legion into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made David Hauler as Legion made in LEGO Marvel Superheroes 2. Let's just get a good look at him right here. Again, you know, you can see, like, the gills there on the arms, but does that really matter? Um, but yeah, I like I said, I love this creation. This is one of my favorites to date, to be honest, because it looks like the character, but it also plays like him as well, which is very important. And of course, that brings to me to, you know, the part of the video where I showcase what powers he has. So I just gave him punching as square because I thought, you know, you want to be able to punch, so I gave him just normal melee punching. Then for hold square, which is a lot more exciting, we got that smoke attack ability, like that. Just show that one more time. Very nice. And then for hold circle, we gave him, which is probably my favorite ability, is this one right here. Oh yeah, of course as well, we gave him the uh, force field, which is awesome. And it does work, you know, it doesn't make a sound effect or anything like that when you activate it, but it does work. An enemy will try to hit you and they won't be able to, so it is a great defense mechanic. All right, so now, of course, what we're going to do is, you know, go fight some crime, basically. See if we can find some first. And, you know, like I said, I didn't give him a flight or anything like that. So he just does a roll when he jumps. That's what happens when you don't give them any uh, traversal abilities. They just do a roll. Which reminds me of the good old days of the LEGO games where you'd play as, like, Han Solo and do a roll and shoot and stuff. That was always so much fun. But one of the things I wanted to talk about is, you know... We recently got the release of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 pack. We got the, I'm trying to think of all of them off the top of my head, Out of Time, uh, Classic Guardians, and Agents of Atlas as well. And all I keep thinking about when I look at all these new characters is just how many things you can make with the pieces on those characters if they were in the character creator like there's so many ideas that come to mind so i really hope that tt games consider trying to find a way to add those pieces to the character creator sometime next year in a future update and you gotta think we can think of some cool ideas with the pieces we've got now that aren't in the character creator imagine what we'll be able to think of when avengers infinity war black panther runaways ant-man the wasp and cloak and dagger packs are added you know imagine the pieces the, the what we could make with the pieces available in those packs it would be pretty insane like this is the thing i love this character creator i'm still having a crazy amount of fun just messing around and seeing what i can make and recreate and things like that with this alone but obviously it comes to a point where you start using the same pieces over and over again because there's only so many you know there's a limited amount so it'd be great if they could add some more via a patch or something just so you can create a few more cool characters even something as simple as like for example i don't know uh bruce banner's ragnarok torso like you gotta think in this game, there's this thing where when you go up to Chili up here, huh? into the character creator and you try to choose Bruce Banner's torso, the image, like the logo of it, that is the Thor Ragnarok Bruce Banner. But once you actually select it, you get the classic Bruce Banner uh, torso that gets attached to your character, which is very strange. And I really hope they can try and find a way to keep both in the game because... If you had, say, for example, Bruce Banner's Ragnarok torso, you could probably make a pretty decent looking uh, Eddie Brock from Spectacular Spider-Man or something. You know, you give him blonde, spiky hair, that jacket, but black. I mean, it would look great. So I really hope they can find a way to do it. Because that, that piece alone would allow you to make a lot of really cool things. You could use that for the Punisher. You could use it for, I don't know, 
Spider-Man 3 Peter Parker or you know there's just there's so many things you could use it for and that's what I'm saying you know that's just one piece there's a lot of pieces with this character creator um, you know a lot of pieces that aren't in the character creator that would be great additions even something like uh, I can't remember the character's name what's what's he called uh, yeah Jimmy Woo Jimmy Woo's torso that could be used for tons of things so yeah I just really hope they can add more to it because the character creator, like I said, I love it, but it could be so much better with uh, more updates and things. You know, I'm not expecting them to add crazy amounts of stuff because obviously that's something we'll see in future LEGO games as the character creator improves, which they have said will happen. The character creator will get better, you know, as we move forward into the next LEGO games, which is very exciting. But just new pieces would be great. More, new pieces would be more than enough, if you ask me. Although it'd also be cool if they could uh, add webbing, like it seems like it is supposed to be. Because when you select arrows in the game, you can't change the color of them, but the option is there. And it makes me think that that's not supposed to be there, that the arrows are actually supposed to be webs. But who knows? Will we see that in a patch or not? I'm not sure. But uh, hopefully we do, because it'd be great to make a character that can shoot webs, but it's your chosen color of webs. You're probably never going to see, like, a legion... Uh, Lego video game or uh, you know a Legion DLC or anything so it's kind of cool that you can make them with this character creator although you know now that uh, Disney bought Fox I'm pretty sure whenever it'll happen the next Lego Marvel superheroes whenever that may be you know that will hopefully have the X-Men and Fantastic Four and Deadpool all of those characters will hopefully return so I feel feel like you know you probably get the classic comic book version of uh, Legion. You, you could probably get him into a future Lego Marvel game, but not, you know, this one that Dan Stevens plays in uh, in the show. Let's take them out. Oh, right. I want to see if they're going to attack me with the force field because... Ha! He's trying to run at me and he can't get past. That's awesome. Is it gonna... That looks so cool. He looks so powerful there, using two powers at once. Okay, well, I took him out. I thought I was a goner. No problem. Um, but yeah, you know, you, you might see uh, comic book Legion in a future LEGO game. That'd be pretty cool. And I think you could probably make a fairly decent-looking comic book Legion in this game with this character creator, but I just wanted to make uh, Dan Stevens' version as well, because... Uh, in instead, just because I think it would have been more fun to make that one, basically. And I think now it's more, it's a more well-known version of the character as opposed to the comic book one. Say, if you're not too busy. But yeah, I'm pretty certain you can make a fairly decent uh, comic book version. It'll be interesting to see uh, where they take his powers in the new series, you know, because obviously he'll have some new powers, so hopefully. Uh, well, his powers will develop, but it'll be interesting to see, you know, what they showcase because then after they do showcase some new abilities, you could come back to LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 and kind of upgrade your Legion, you know, and say, okay, he now has these powers, I'm going to give him this and that and, and stuff like that. Because this is my custom character, this is my mine based on uh, Legion Series 1, not Series 2, because at the time of this recording, I have no idea what powers he's going to, you know, that we're going to see in uh, season one, uh, season two. I'm the world's fastest runner. None of you will ever beat me. I don't want to beat you. <laughs> no. Well, actually, yes, I can because I've already done it, but uh, I'm not going to do it right now. All right. Let's go for a walk through here with this horse. Because why not? We're, we're riding a horse through 2099. We can do that if we want to. Don't worry, this is not going to harm the horse, I promise. Full shock, full shock, full shock. Was that the horse? <laughs> that was quite funny time. And the, you're falling with the horse and it's like, oh shark, oh shark. Alright. Whoa, does he do a flip when he jumps off the horse? Hey, that's cool. I like that. I didn't know it did that. Or at least I've never noticed it. Oh yeah, I can see the crime. There's lots of crime in 2099. Like that. I believe in you. Really? Oh, oh, it's on. All right, throw him. Ooh, right into the wall. Not where I wanted to throw him, but oh well. 
I keep Come on. Take that. Uh, hey, thanks again for breaking us out of that old shack. Nice. I love that throwing so move. That was in uh, Lego Batman 2, I believe. You could actually throw enemies. So it's interesting to see that they brought that back. I wonder why they brought it back. Take a it's cool, though. I I'm glad they did. It reminds me of that video I once did where I made... Uh, it's a very old one, but I made Flashpoint Batman, Lego Marvel Super Heroes... No, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Sorry, Lego Batman 2. I made Flashpoint Batman, you know, Thomas Wayne. And what I did was I made like a, a kind of a mini movie. It was like, it was more or less a trailer and uh, it had Flashpoint Batman. He had like... He picked someone up and he was holding them and he grabbed them and he like... He, he attacked them and then, you know, they fell to pieces like you do in a Lego video game. And it was pretty cool. I was quite happy with the way it turned out. And for fun, I made, uh, I made, what you call him, uh, you know, Thomas Wayne. Like, just in a suit as well as Flashpoint Batman. But yeah, that was a fun video to make. I made some weird mods for Lego Marvel Super Heroes. No, uh, not Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I can't speak today. I, I made some, uh, weird mods for Lego Batman 2. Yeah. I made, uh, I turned Killer Croc into Spider-Man, and I think I did Carnage as well, yeah. Yeah, I think I made Carnage. Uh, and, like, and like I said, I think uh, some of the unreleased mods that I did that I just messed around with, I wasn't really happy with them, so I never released them, but I worked on, like, I tried making Chase McCain and stuff like that. Mods are always fun, you know, I, I always like to go back to them if it's possible. There are, of course, limits. At least, I, I can only do so much. I don't know everything about modding. More more texture modding than anything. Um, I don't know anything about coding and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, like, I always go back to it if I can, and if there's something cool that I can do that I can't make of a character creator or something like that. That's why when the uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse trailer came out the other day, I tried making Miles you know, Miles' new suit you in this game, and Cannon? no, it, it just didn't look well, good. Indeed. So I thought, okay, well, I'll make it in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, and I'll make it properly, and I'll make it as a mod, and I was so happy with the way that one turned out, and I hope you guys liked it, because I love that mod. That's one of my favorite mods, definitely, that I've made. Because it just looks so much like it. And I love the detail in that suit. You know, it's silver webbing, like Sony usually uses in their Spider-Man suits, and, uh... But, it, but it's, it's silver webbing, but it's got red eyes, and it's, it's got Miles, all the classic Miles colors, but it's got a hint of, you know, like the original Spider-Man, like Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, like the silver webbing, which is just so cool. Don't get me wrong, I love Tom Holland's suit. Tom Holland's uh, Spider-Man suit is probably my favorite. It's just, uh, the silver webbing from the old movies is just so iconic, so it was so cool to see it on Miles' suit. We do get a glimpse at Peter Parker at the end of that trailer, and I hope we get a full look at his costume at some point. Uh, you know, either in a picture or in the next trailer or something like that, because I really want to see what his full suit looks like in that universe. And then, you know, I'll try and see if I can make it as well. Unless it's like just a very simple Spider-Man suit to what you're used to seeing. But hopefully not, because Miles's is very different. You know, Miles's suit, it looks like Miles, but it's also, they've kind of put their own spin on it, which I really like. I love it when uh, creators do that. They take such an iconic costume and they kind of tweak it a bit. And I don't mean, what I mean by that is I don't mean when they take an iconic costume and try to do their own version and ruin it. I mean when they take it and kind of, you know, they're inspired by the look and they change things. Like Miles' suit, it looks like Miles' suit, but it's got its own little changes here and there based on that universe, you know, into the Spider-Verse. So I, I love it when they do that. But I don't like it when creators don't actually give the characters the suits they're supposed to have. Yeah, I, I, like, I really hope with the MCU now we'll see Wolverine in a proper costume and stuff like that. Some people think that would be silly, but you gotta think, the MCU, you know, look at Captain America. I, I, I never thought that costume would look cool in the on the big screen. He looks incredible. Captain America has an awesome suit with, you know, even with the A on the top, he still looks really cool. So I'm sure the people at Marvel Studios could make a good Wolverine costume. That said, I'm not saying that Hugh Jackman not wearing the suit was bad, because no way, no way. Hugh Jackman was incredible as Wolverine. Uh, even in the movies not, that not everyone likes, we can all agree he was an incredible Wolverine with or without a costume. So, you know, a tank top or a suit or whatever, he was still Wolverine. 
It's just now that Marvel Studios has the character, I like to think they'll do the right thing and uh, give him a costume. The costume we've always wanted, basically. Whether it be black and grey, you know, uh, X-Force, or yellow and blue, or, or brown, or, you know, whatever. Just just really want to see that classic Wolverine costume and classic Cyclops and just so many classic costumes we need to see. I'm very excited to see what, what the suits look like for the Fantastic Four as well in the MCU. That should be interesting. Ow! Ha! Oh, nice! Absolutely obliterated him. Oh, I'll tell you what. What we'll do is we'll do this. Check this out. Oh, look, he keeps... Oh, the force field. Would have been, would have been amazing if the force field followed him around there. Because it would look like uh, Doctor Strange is throwing around a big uh, ball or something. That would have been pretty cool. All right, so what I'll do is before we wrap up, I'm just going to quickly get a flying vehicle and jo just show off uh, the telekinesis. Now... The reason what I'm saying there is basically because what how, how are you gonna show a flight with a uh, sorry telekinesis with a flying vehicle? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly fly over to Hala because there is a puzzle that just stays there and you can use telekinesis on it. So I'm just gonna quickly do that just to showcase it. You know, it kind of has a bit of a magic effect, but you just gotta pretend it looks like telekinesis. I think it looks pretty cool. The thing is, you're not gonna get the powers and everything exactly right all the time, so. Even if it looks not exactly how you want it to look, um, like, you know, the effect, I mean, the VFX or whatever you call it, you can at least have that power. I think that's the main thing. See, I'll show it right here. You smash this box, you press circle, and boom. He builds like that. Which is cool. I love that. I love that you can do that. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. No walking on the green. This isn't football. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show. She actually tells you off for doing that. See the fierce love of mini golf blazing behind your eyes. All right, so let's head back to Manhattan and then we'll call it a day. Oh, hang on. I want that vehicle. I won that in a battle. Good for you. It's mine now. Uh, Doc. Ooh, I don't think he's happy about me stealing that guy's car. All right, let's go. Ah, Doctor Strange is following me. What the heck? It's never happened before. It's really weird. I hope, uh, I do hope that some, you know, shows like Legion, uh, aren't actually, uh, cancelled now that Marvel Studios owns, uh, the X-Men, Fantastic Four and things, because I feel like it'd be interesting to see if they could mold Legion into the MCU somehow. I, I wonder if that would be possible. You know, it's a very closed off, uh, closed off kind of show. It doesn't really have any direct references to uh, X-Men. Well, the thing is, I, I think they confirmed, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they confirmed it's not like set in the X-Men movie universe. It's set in like an X-Men universe. So it's like it's their own X-Men universe. So you could say, okay, well, that X-Men universe is actually the MCU one. And you just haven't seen enough of it yet. I don't know. The thing is, not everything has to be part of the MCU for it to be good. It's just now that we have the X-Men and things, you kind of want it all to be part of one universe. But we'll see. I mean, people that have been watching these videos will tell you, you know, that I've been talking about the Venom movie for ages because I'm just so excited about that film. And it's not going to be set in the MCU. And, you know, that was really hard to come to terms with for a long time. I really wanted it to be part of that universe, but it's not. And, you know, what you got to think about is that doesn't make it good or bad just because it's set in the MCU. I love the MCU, it's my favorite, uh, it's my favorite cinematic universe, obviously. Um, but it doesn't mean that the movie is gonna be good or bad, basically. And I'm really looking forward to Venom. And there's actually been a tease recently that it may be set in the MCU, so I don't really know what's going on. I think we just have to wait until that trailer or even until the film's released to get an official answer on what universe Venom is set in. Personally, at the moment, the way things are going, I'm thinking Venom is set in a universe where Spider-Man either doesn't exist or is dead, basically. That's what I think. And then maybe Eddie takes it upon himself to not necessarily finish what Peter started, but just kind of try to help out where he can, you know, as a lethal protector. 
right. I'm just trying to show as much as uh, of the powers before we wrap up. Because I love the powers we gave him. Pretty cool. Ah, another vehicle. What happens if you have the force field active and you try to jump into a vehicle? Oh, I was hoping the force field would stay while you're in the vehicle, but it doesn't. Oh, well. That would have been pretty cool. Out my way! I know there's some bad guys in Kunlun, but uh, that's quite a drive, so I think we'll just leave them. I'll get someone else to take care of them. Don't you worry, there's tons of heroes in this city, and villains, you know. With the, with the right price, they might just help out, you never know. All right, and we're back. Let me just quickly destroy this vehicle. There we go. Nice. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Like I said, you know, this is one of my favorite creations today. Honestly, it's a very simple one, but I was just surprised by how good it turned out using Koi Boy's pieces and the powers are accurate to what you see from the show. So, yeah, I, I really like the way this one turned out and I hope you guys do too. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.